Hey guys, welcome to Carrie's Kitchen. This is episode two of Basic Curry, and today's basic ingredient is pasta. So pasta is one of the easiest and fastest things you can cook. Obviously, I recommend making pasta from scratch, but not everyone has that time, so store-bought pasta is okay. Whichever brand you like will do. Most of them are just the same, whichever shape you like, it's up to you. So pasta is one of my favorite starches to use because it's very easy to manipulate. You can either use white sauce, which is a bechamel sauce, you can use red sauce, which is most likely a tomato sauce. You could eat it with those sauces or you could bake it in the oven with some cheese on top and have it nice and crusty. Um, it re it's really up to you. But pasta is very easy to cook and obviously really tasty in the end. So let's get into how you can cook the pasta. So today this is the type of pasta I've chosen to use. Um, the shape is really up to you. My favorite is tagliatelle or, or fusilli, but I like these ones as well. So I'm just gonna take, depending on how many people you're cooking for, you might need the whole package, you might need a quarter of the package. So if it's just yourself for dinner. Pasta is also very filling, especially when you add sauces to it. So be careful about your quantities when you're cooking. Um, it's also not nice to eat day old pasta or leftover pasta, especially when you put sauces and cheese, because it never tastes the same. And even when warming, it never warms the same. So, fun fact. When you're warming your pasta, assuming you've left it in the fridge overnight, you should never use the microwave. You should get out your pan, a frying pan, the one that you use to fry your eggs, and warm the pasta on there. It's much better. The sauces will come back to life, as opposed to when you put them in the microwave. So the next time you're warming pasta that's left over, use a frying pan instead of your microwave. So all you need for today is some salt, some cooking fat, some hot water and your dried pasta or if you have um, fresh pasta that you've made then you use that. Cooking times usually vary, it's much longer to cook dry pasta than it is to cook fresh homemade pasta. So whichever you're using has different cooking time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put about two cups of water into, and just bring it to a boil because you should never cook your pasta in cold water. Okay, so once we have our water boiling, the next thing we're gonna add is salt. I'm just gonna pour in like, three teaspoons of salt and some butter. Butter has more flavor. You could either use butter or olive oil. I just like flavorful food, so we're going with butter today. I'm just gonna add a knob of butter. And let it melt in there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna add in is my pasta. half a cup of pasta and in order for this to cook well you have to make sure that the water level is above the pasta so never cook pasta with the water below what's inside the pot <laughs> so if your water is below the pasta then 
pass on the top will not cook and will be harder than the rest, which is not the really idea. And you have to make sure that you cook the pasta for a specific amount of time, which I would say is about 7 to 10 minutes on high heat. You don't want your pasta very soft. That's not the correct way to cook pasta. In fact, it should be medium to well done. Um, the correct term for that is al dente. And especially if you're going to add sauce or add meat and later return the pasta to the heat you don't need to cook it for too long otherwise it'll become too soft and too mushy which we don't want so you have to make sure you stick to the seven to ten minutes so when your pasta is ready all you have to do is strain it into a colander like i've done Never let your pasta sit in the water because it will actually continue cooking. And after this, you could either serve it as is or you could further manipulate it. So our pasta is now ready. If you'd like to eat it at this point, you can go ahead. If not, you can get into the sauces, which I will show you how to do in for the episodes. Yes, but this is our pasta and it's ready to eat. It's not stuck together, which is what the cooking fat helped in. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to cook pasta. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.